All right, I'm gonna try to block out wind noise best I can, but everyone seems to kind of be getting along here. The little one's over there behind her. Uh, she's kind of a kind of a jerk. That big one. Definitely, from what I've noticed, he's a he's a biter. He'll bite him and throw him around and everything else. But he's super friendly as usual. But those two, not so much. If I try to get up to them, they run off. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on them. Sorry for the shakiness. I've had a lot of coffee today. Um, but uh, I'll try getting close. They've named him uh, the big one. Luna and the small ones, uh, Bell is what the girls here named them, so that works for me. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to get in close and kind of get good shots from profile wise, but uh, uh, this for that though, he's this guy here, he's super friendly, so I'm gonna try to get a hold of them and pet on him and get him used to me so that's going to be kind of the goal today and I'll run around and we'll go in that little barn there and kind of do another run around I'll kind of show you the setup in there really moving they're just so skittish here's Toby at oh right here you yeah. know right next to me yeah they're just man that is super annoying lesson learned on that one yeah I get about 15 feet away and they just start running So I've been chasing them around for like 10 minutes. I can't uh, I can't get a hold of them because I don't really have a run in here. But I've almost already concluded that I'm going to bottle feed uh, their babies because uh, these ga these goats that are hard to handle, I just, this is, this is silly. Can't even get up to them to check them or anything like that. So I might have to build a run in. But uh, I think I'm going to get... Uh, some babies from these two and end up probably selling them just because uh, I don't like their temperament. Now maybe it'll change but maybe not. They you know they're just kind of they're so skittish running around and I know that it is a new place but I'm starting to think they just weren't handled at all uh, from birth. I think they were just like run around and I find that incredibly annoying. So uh We'll see what their future kind of holds. Um, see, he, let's see if I can zoom this out. He just, right there, right at my feet. And a lot of uh, places I've been, their, their goats are super friendly. These are, maybe I should have wondered why they're already tied up waiting for me when I got there. So, kind of a lesson learned. Um, like I said, as soon as they go into heat, though, they're not going to run from them. So, that won't be an issue. It'll just be uh, getting hold of their babies and raising them up I might you know I've heard uh, pros and cons to, to dam raised or uh, bottle fed and I'm starting to really see the, uh, the positives of bottle fed because uh, like I said he's super tame and he comes right up and he's easy to handle and these two are kind of a nightmare so far I know it's only day two but uh, trying to you know get a hold of him look him over and even just show him a video has been super pain in the butt but uh, it might change but that's my uh, first opinion you can uh leave some comments down there in the comment section tell me if I'm just crazy or if they'll snap out of it from front of red if you get a goat like that it's kind of just what you got but like I said hoping they make pretty babies that was kind of the point anyway they weren't really pets so uh yeah that's kind of the update I, I I do something a little better I just cannot get up to them at all it's I'm just running around it's kind of warm out it's about 72 in Michigan that's pretty good it's supposed to be about 80 today 
so I don't want to stress them out too much. I, I tried to chase them down to get a look at them, but it is what it is. We'll keep keep at it and see if they kind of get a little friendlier. I uh, hope everyone's having a great weekend, and uh, I'll get this posted straight away. All right, thanks, guys. Pretty windy, but here's one side that when they come in, some lights got outlets. It's, uh, it's a pretty good setup. There's a for my electric fence. And you spin around here, then I can open that up later. Put a couple in here and kind of connect it all together. That goes out to the paddock. Uh, all in all, it's a real nice setup. Uh, it hasn't finished the door yet, so that's just a tarp. But uh, yeah, this is it, and this is uh, this works out good. They all kind of go in here at night, and it's the only time they're friendly is when it's cold. <laughs> okay, so. Leaving for today, they're good. Uh, they're gonna feed them tonight for me. Uh, it's gonna be pretty windy and nasty. I can't seem to get this thing to focus. There we go. It's gonna be kind of windy tonight, so they're gonna keep an eye on them. I'll spend it tomorrow and check on them in the morning. Um, the next video, I will probably be building stuff. I need to build some teeter totters and things of that nature out here. Stuff for them to play on. Um, stuff to climb on. They have nothing to climb on. I got some old. Tires on rims, some big old tires and stuff. We gotta put out here so they can climb on them and kind of get some exercise. A uh, little playground, maybe in that big bear spot over there. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the uh, the whole deal tonight. Man, this thing is just there's no light. Uh, yeah, so uh, see you all in the next one. See ya.